Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Virginia Kilmore, and welcome to my studio. I'm hoping today got you out shopping, possibly, or at least uh, online, and um, that you had a good Thanksgiving, whomever you got to spend it with. I'm blessed enough to have been able to see my grandbaby yesterday, so I'm very thankful for that. Um, and hopefully this pandemic will be over shortly. I have a great card today to share with you, so let's get started. So our card today uses the turnover set. I'm going to zoom out so you can see, um, but I wanted you to see a close-up of the card. It's a very easy card to do. I used this set that I know we've used before. Um, in fact, I think we did a pumpkin card, which I meant to show you, but you probably can see it back in October I did it. Um, and we're going to be using this, this, and this ornament and the bow. And the neat part about this set is that if you flip it over, you get um, the solid part of the stamp to stamp inside. So what we're gonna do is stamp this stamp in full strength and then flip the stamp over and stamp the backside in partial strength or what I call stamp off. Um, and that's why I have this piece of cardstock. To make the card, we're gonna start off with uh, a uh, full piece of cardstock that I'm going to glue inside a four by five and a quarter piece of um, whisper white so that you can write in there. You could also put, you know, any kind of message you might have. So there is that. That's done. And I'm going to set that aside while we build this part. I've also got a piece of our uh, brushed copper foil, and I think this piece, yeah, it's four and three quarters by three and three quarters piece of um, Whisper White. And because we're doing this um, a little differently, you're going to have to flip and make sure that you have the correct side on your stamp. Now, I had just finished stamping on the other side, so I never flipped them back but I'm going to flip them all so that the printed side or the side with all the designs are facing forward. Let's see, I don't see my little bow. There it is. Yep, so I need all those sides out so that I can do my stamping. The first thing I'm gonna do is stamp my sentiment. Um, that's the hardest and if I mess that up, I can always flip my cardstock over. I'm going to put that down here at the center, and that came out great. So now the first thing I'm going to do is stamp this one. Actually, I always like to do the middle one first, so we'll start with the middle one. I'm going to ink that up full strength and stamp that in the middle. And I can see that I didn't get enough ink on there. Now, one of the things with using this both sides is you've got to make sure to clean and dry off your stamp in between. And I'm going to go ahead and flip that over so that it's all set for my next one. Um, this one is next. And I'm going to do the same thing, flip it over. this last one. Okay, again, flip it over. The reason I'm doing this now is because it's so easy to forget which side. You can't always see it, so it just makes it a lot easier. And I'm going to go ahead and add my bow. I want to make sure I got the, the correct side. I think for this one, I'm going to go ahead. Well, now I'll make the ribbon out of the copper. I love that copper. Um, now I'm ready to put the background on, and I flip these over 
and I want to make sure to get enough ink, but then I'm going to stamp off. You see how I just took a ton of ink off? I just have to line up the correct one. I'm off just a tad, but that's okay. It looks fine. Um, this one, I'm going to do the same thing. Again, stamp off. And I can see I didn't do good coverage, so I'm going to go back and get ink again and try to get a more even tone. So that's the other nice benefit of having um, a stamp off, because you can see how well you inked your, your pad, your stamp. Got to get a little more ink on there. Same thing again. I just love the set. I think it's such a great set because you can quickly color it in. Now, I did go back in with my blender pen, and I'll show you that little trick. And I didn't flip this, see? So it's a good thing I stamped off. Now I can see. I'm just filling in my little sections. And I'm going to take my blender pen out, and I am not even going to uh, ink it up. I'm just going to darken these little spots by going ahead and using my blender pen in a couple spots. I'm trying to remember where I, I did darken it up. I can also add to my bow a little bit. I had a little problem right there, so I just fixed that by going back over it. So I'm actually creating a more three-dimensional image by just using a little blender pen. Now, I also did take a white chalk marker and went into some spots, but I don't think you can really see it, so I'm not going to show it to you. Um, I think that this is the best bang for your buck is the blender pen. So now I just need to make a bow and also put um, the card together. And I've been making a lot of my bows. This ribbon is so easy to make a bow with. I don't need my bow easy for it. Of course, I always have to make adjustments. Notice how I never cut the ribbon off until I'm done with a bow. little glue dot and my pokey tool. I love my, my glue dots. I'm just going to find one. This one's way back. Okay, and I'm going to place that right there where I want my bow and just lay my little bow on top of it. And now I'm all ready to glue this down and then put my card together. So just a little blender pen. I made it a little bit darker in some spots. I think I'm going to do these as well. I could also pick up ink if I wanted to, but I'm pretty happy with what I did. And I am going to use some glue. Glue this down. Get this out of the way and get this glued right on here. I'm wondering how it would look with dimensionals. I'm going to try that just for a little change up. Constantly editing my cards. I have a little problem that I'm never quite happy with what I do. Anyone who knows me knows that that's part of my makeup. I'm always changing stuff, which makes it hard to teach because I'm always um, changing up how I teach something and so people like well that isn't the way you showed me and I'm like well yeah because I like to change things up okay look at how simple and pretty now you could emboss the background of that cardstock um, lots of different things you could do the last thing I'm going to do is bring in some champagne rhinestones to add a little bling and I'll use my little take your pick tool And your card is done. That card just is so pretty. The copper is gorgeous with the champagne rhinestone. 
I think I'm going to take one of the big ones for this one because I'm just going to put one in the middle. And then I'm going to go back to the little ones for the one on the edge here. Lifting that off is nice. Um, the only trick is when you mail it, sometimes they get a little squished. But there you have it. I can't believe we did that card so quickly. Um, I'm thankful that you watch today and thankful that you watch every day at 1 o'clock. Um, I hope you have a great weekend and I'll see you next week at 1 o'clock.